in today's video i'll be showing you how to make baby booties baby converse booties actually as you can see the design that is you know on the side all star booties um i'll be showing you how to crochet this from start to finish so this tutorial will be divided into about four to five parts so the first thing i'm going to do is to show you how to crochet the sole how to insert this black yarn on the sides that's number two number three i'm going to show you how to do the side and the back elevation as you can see here i'll show you how to do the flap the shoe flap which is this one on the inside i'll show you how to make the shoelace and then i'm also going to show you how to do the ulster design which is going to be the last thing that we are going to do so this converse shoes that we are making is for zero to three months and the length of the sole from top to bottom at the midpoint is measuring 3.5 inches so i'll just go ahead and measure that for you guys to see so i have 3.5 inches you know right here in another video i will show you how to do a sole for three to six months i have done one already but this one doesn't have the all-star design okay so we are going to be making this color of um, converse shoes for this project what we're going to need is our yarn. I'm using a locally made yarn here in Nigeria. It's called Yeye um, Extra. That's the big size. And it is three ply. I have my white yarn, um, which is also Yeye Extra three ply as well. So you can see where the white was used. It was used for the sole. It was used for the toe cover. I didn't mention this. This is also part of our project. So we're going to make the sole followed by the toe cover we are going to make a toe cover before proceeding with our green colored yarn so i mentioned these are the two yarns that we'll be needing and of course we'll need the black okay i have my black yarn right here and this is the yeye regular yarn it is three ply as well but it can fit into a 2 mm uh, hook 2.5 mm hook which is what i'm going to use it is very very thin so that is why I have to here because I'm going to double it. Okay, I'm going to double it in order for us to make this design right here, right here and on the all-star design. We are going to be needing, of course, our crochet hook. I'll be needing my 3mm hook. This is not 3.5, this is 3mm hook for most of my project. Where I will need my 2.5mm hook, I will let you know so that we know what we're using. You also need... Um, a tapestry needle for hiding your yarn this is um what i have right here the tip is not sharp it's like plastic so you need your tapestry needle you will need your um, stitch marker so to start with we are going to make a slip knot now or something similar to a slip knot this is what i like to do i just put my hook you know in between my yarn like this okay and then i twist around just once so did you see that and what I'm going to do now is to start my foundational chain for the sole. I'm going to be making 13 chains, okay? So this is how to make a chain. All you need to do is just yarn over and pull through the single loop on your crochet hook. So I'll make my first chain right here, as you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to continue repeating that for 12 more chains in order to make this 13 chains. So I'll go chain two, chain three okay chain four chain five chain six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so the next thing we're going to do is to move to the third chain from the hook okay so here is the hook holding this loop the first chain is beside that loop this is the second one and right here is the third one so i'm going to insert my hook in there okay so in that third chain from the hook we are going to be making three double crochet stitches and this is how to make a double crochet stitch the first thing i'm going to do is to yarn over and we're making it in the third chain from the hook okay so i yarn over i insert my hook into that third chain I'm going to yarn over again and then I pull that yarn through that chain. So as you can see, I have three loops on my crochet hook. I yarn over and then I'm going to pull this 
one that I'm yarning over through two loops. Okay, and then I'll be left with two on my crochet hook. I yarn over and then I pull through two loops. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this again for the second double crochet that we want to make in that same space, in that same touching from the hook that we did initially. Do you understand? So I'm going to make another double crochet stitch. First, I yarn over. I insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over. Yarning over means carrying your yarn. I pull it through that um, chain, okay? I, so that I end up with three loops on my crochet hook. I yarn over again and then I pull through two loops. I'll be left with two loops on my crochet hook. I yarn over again and then I pull through those two loops. So that is my second double crochet stitch. So I'm just going to repeat this again. Yarn over, insert my hook, pull my yarn through, yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through. So now that we're done with this, in the next nine chain, okay, we're going to make um, single double crochet stitches. In this one, we did three. In the next one, in each chain, we'll do one. In each chain, we're going to do one. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain, okay, do my double crochet stitch. We're going to do nine double crochet stitches. So it's just a repetition of the stitch that we have, you know, I explained previously, but it's just one in each chain, okay? So I've done one, two, three. I have six more to go. Once we're done with the ninth one, in the last chain, we only have one last chain, okay? We only have one chain left. We're going to do six double crochet in that last chain. In the top chain from the hook here, we did three. In this last chain, we're going to do six. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one. One. Okay. Two. In that same space. Okay. Three. Four. five and six all right so we have done six and make sure to always count to be sure that you have the exact number that you have done once we are done with this now opposite where i have you know my single double crochet in the nine stitches okay we're going to repeat the same thing so each stitch is going to be opposite each other each double crochet stitch will be opposite each other so I yarn over, insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull my yarn through, yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull through this next two loops. So I'm going to repeat this now for the next eight stitches. As once I'm done with the nine stitches now, in that chain where we did um, three double crochet stitches at the top chain, that's what we did at the beginning. In that same chain, we are going to do another three more. Okay. The reason why we are doing another three more is so that we have this part here and this part here looking the same. It's going to just look the same at the beginning, okay? Not at the end of making the sole, just at the beginning. So we're just making like the center structure of the sole. I'm just going to do um, three double crochet in that same space where we have where we have our initial three double crochet stitches. So I'm just going to do another three double crochet um, stitch. So that's the first one. Here is the second one, and right here is the third one. Okay, so now that we are done with this part, what we're going to do is to do a slip stitch. Okay, we want to close off this gap that you can see here. So I'm just going to insert my hook right here. That's the top of the first double crochet stitch. Okay, the first of the three double crochet stitches on this side, I insert my hook. I pull my yarn through like so, okay, and then I'm going to pull it again through this loop to close it so you can see that it's really, you know, closed nicely. All right, so once we are done with that, we're going to do a chain one. Do not skip any stitch after the chain, okay? Do not skip any stitch. What we're going to do next is to do 
two half double crochet in the next four stitches. So I'm going to explain to you what a half double crochet stitch is. A half double crochet stitch is different from a double crochet stitch. In order to do a half double crochet stitch, we're going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook right here, okay, into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull my yarn through. I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over and I pull this yarn through the three loops. All right, so I'm going to pull through the three loops. Okay, so this is what I have. I've done the first half double crochet. In that same space, I'm going to do another half double crochet stitch. So by doing the half double crochet stitch, I yarn over, I insert my hook in that same space, yarn over and pull my yarn through, yarn over again and pull through the three loops. So now I have two half double crochet right here. Okay. In the next three stitches, I'm going to be making two half double crochet in each of the stitch. So I yarn over, I move to the next stitch, I do the first half double crochet. I do the first half double crochet, I yarn over, I do the second half double crochet, okay? So for the third stitch, I yarn over, I do the first half double crochet, okay? I yarn over, I do the second half double crochet stitch. So for the fourth one now, I yarn over, I do the first half double crochet stitch, I yarn over in that same space, I do the second half double crochet stitch. So we have completed our four two half double crochets in you know each of the stitches. What I'm going to do next is to do half double crochet stitches in the next six stitches, okay? So single half double crochet, okay? So I do the first one, move to the next stitch, do the second one, I move to the next stitch, do the third one, move to the next stitch, do the fourth, move to the next stitch, do the fifth, okay? So I do the fifth. And the sixth. So now that I'm done with this um, half double crochet in the next six stitches, I'm going to do a single double crochet in the next stitch. So I yarn over, I've shown us how to do double crochet. I yarn over again and pull my yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull and through another two loops. So that is a double crochet stitch. And what I'm going to do next is to do two double crochets in the next eight stitches, okay? So I yarn over in the next stitch, I'm going to do two double crochet stitches. So here is the first one in the first stitch. Here is the second one in the first stitch. Here is the first one in the second stitch. Okay, here is the second one in the second stitch. So I've done two now. I'm going to repeat this six more times and then I'm going to, we're going to come back and I'll tell you what we're going to do next. So once I've completed my two double crochets in the eight stitches, so you will notice that this part right here is sort of like um, wider than the bottom here. So here is representing where the toes will stay and right here is, you know, the heel of the feet, okay, the back of the feet. So after our eight, um, after our double crochets in the eight stitches, we're going to do a single double crochet, just a single double crochet in the next stitch. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So after this now, I'm going to do half double crochets in the next six stitches, okay? So this is one, okay? Two, three, four, five and six okay so this part that we started with and we're going around until we get to this end is the row two of this um, project okay the initial one we did which is right here in the middle is row one so what we are trying to complete now is row two so after doing the half double crochet in the next six stitches we're going to do two half double crochet in the next four stitches okay so I'm doing the first half double crochet in the first stitch. I'm doing the second half double crochet in that same stitch. 
Then I move over to the second stitch, do the first half double crochet, okay? In that same stitch, I'm going to do the second half double crochet, move to the third stitch, do the first half double crochet. In that same space, I'm going to do the second half double crochet stitch. And then the fourth um, stitch, I do the first half double crochet, okay? I do the first half double crochet. In that same stitch, I'm going to do the second half double crochet stitch. Okay, so this is what we have. If you go ahead and count the amount of stitches that we have here, you should be having a total of 46 stitches. Okay, so you can go ahead and do your counting just to be sure. That is if you followed what I did precisely. Okay, so you should have 46 um, stitches. The reason why you are counting is so that you'll be able to replicate this when you are making the second shoe. At the end of this round two, you should have a total of 46 stitches. At the end of round one, you should have a total of 30 stitches. So what I'm going to do next is to do a slip stitch right at the top of this stitch here to close off the row two. Okay, so do my slip stitch and pull it through like that, okay? So this is what the sole of the shoe um, will look like and it should be measuring about 3.5 inches from the midpoint here to the midpoint here, okay? The next thing we're going to do is um, do row three. Now for row three, we want to sort of like raise the sole so that it has like this um, white on this side, okay? The way we are going to do that first is to chain one like this. So we're going to chain one. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is to do half double crochet stitches into the back loop. What do I mean by back loop? Here is the stitch. Okay. This part of the, the stitch looks like, um, how do I explain it? Like a love shape or heart shape. I think that's the better way to explain it. So it has two parts, one here and one here. So can you see that? One here, one here. The one facing you is the front loop. The one behind is the back loop. So we're going to be doing half double crochet stitches into the back loop only. So what I'm going to do is to yarn over, insert my hook into the first back loop, into the next stitch, only the back loop, okay? Pull my yarn through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. I'm going to show you what I mean by that again. I'm going to repeat this again. So I yarn over. Here is the front loop here, here is the back loop. So I insert my hook into the back loop, pull my yarn through, yarn over, and pull through the three loops. So by the time you finish, it is going to be raised up like what you have here, okay? So I'm going to repeat, the, I've done two now. So I'm going to repeat this same thing 44 more times till I get to the 46th stitch, okay? So I'll just go ahead and do that and come show you guys when I'm done with it. After doing the 46 half double crochet stitches for row three, which is the side extension of the sole, what we are going to do next is to do a slip stitch to close um, this row off okay so i'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch like so pull the yarn through and then pull it through this loop okay so now we have completed row three and we are moving to row four the next one we're going to do is to chain one now remember that for row three we did half double crochet into the back loop only but we want to, you know, just continue to raise this up. So what we are going to do is to crochet into each stitch, okay? Both front and back loop. Do you understand? So not just back loop, both front and back loop. And for the row four that we want to do, for row four and row five, we are going to be doing single crochet stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet stitch. We're not going to skip any stitch. We are going to start from the first stitch close to the hook, okay? or close to where we chained one. So for a single crochet, we are not going to yarn over, okay? What we are going to do is insert our hook under the first stitch, pull our yarn through, yarn over, and then pull through two loops, 
Okay, so I'm going to repeat this again. We are going to insert our hook into the next stitch. Okay, pull our yarn through, yarn over, and then pull through two loops. So this is my second single crochet stitch. I'm going to go ahead and do 44 more single crochet stitches in addition to these two that I've done to make it 46 single crochet stitches. Okay, so right under the stitch, I insert my hook, pull my yarn through, yarn over, and then pull through two loops. And I'm going to continue, you know, like that, okay? I've done 46 single crochet for row four. So the next one I'm going to do is to do a slip stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to come right here, insert my hook into the first stitch just above the um, single crochet or before the single crochet stitch underneath it. Pull my yarn through and then I do my slip stitch and this is what we have, okay? So for row five, I'm just going to repeat exactly what I did for row four. I chain one, okay? I chain one and then insert my hook into the next stitch, pull my yarn through and then yarn over and pull through these two loops. So that is my first single crochet stitch and I'm going to go ahead and do 45 more um, single crochet stitches to make a total of 46. I'm done with the 46 stitch for row five. Okay, so we're going to close this off now and in order to close this off, we are going to insert our hook into the first stitch just above the single crochet, yarn over or pull the yarn through and then pull through this loop to close it off. So at this point, what we're going to do next is to cut our yarn. Pull my yarn through. And yeah, this is what we have for our sole and the side sole extension. So where we usually end our stitching or close off our stitching is the back of the shoe. Right here is the front. So you can see that the front is sort of, you know, wider than the back. The next thing we're going to do now is to do this part. The black that you can see here is to do it all around. And I'm going to be switching over to my 2.5 mm hook and we'll be using a black yarn for this part okay so please remember that we did a slip stitch right at the back here so it's going to make it look like we have um, a total of 47 stitches so you need to take note of that okay i have my black yarn here we're going to be doing slip stitches right under this stitch that you can see here and i'm going to show you how to do um, this slip stitch design now I have my black yarn here. It is very thin. That is why I doubled it and I'm using a 2.5 mm hook. So the first thing I'm going to do is under the slip stitch where I stopped, I'm going to insert my hook underneath that place. I'm going to pull my yarn through. So we're going to be hiding this white yarn and the black yarn right here as we go along. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to insert my hook under the next stitch okay and pull my yarn through so i pull the yarn through and then i pull it through this loop okay i insert my hook under the next stitch take this yarn pull it under that same stitch and then i pull it through this loop this particular loop on my crochet hook I'm going to repeat it one more time. Insert my hook under the next stitch, okay? I pull it through and I pull through the loop on my crochet hook. Okay, so I'm going to do this all around. I'm going to do this all around as I go along, all around that stitch or all under that stitch. So what we're basically doing is slip stitches. So we are slip stitching under stitches. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. We are slip stitching under stitches. So which means for everything that we are doing here, you're going to be seeing the white stitch right on top. 
I apologize for going out of focus at some point. So guys, um, I've gone ahead and done my slip stitches all around. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Now, in order for us not to have like a gap at this point, I'll go ahead and do another slip stitch, you know, into the next stitch, okay? Then I'm going to cut my yarn. All right, so this is what I have. And what I'm going to do next is to pull my yarn, bring it to the inside. The next thing we want to do is to do the toe cover for the front part of the shoe, okay? Which is this um, part right here. This part right here, okay? And in order to do that, we are going to need um, stitch markers. So I'm going to place the first stitch marker right in the middle of the back of the shoe. I place my first stitch marker. And then on either side of the stitch marker, I'm going to count 16 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that is my 16th stitch. I'm going to insert my stitch marker there. If you don't have a stitch marker, just use a different color of yarn from what you have here. All right. On this other side, I'm going to count 16. Now, it is on the side of the stitch marker, not starting from the stitch marker, okay? So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, I'm going to insert my stitch marker there as well. Okay, so we have um, counted what 16 here on this side, 16 on this side. We have one more stitch here, making that um, 16 plus 16, 32, plus this one, 33. So if we decide to count uh, from the side of this stitch marker that's towards the front, we should be having one, two, three, okay, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so if we have if so if we add fourteen plus um thirty three that means we're going to have forty seven stitches so it means we are on the right track and you need to make sure that your stitch markers are sort of like on the same line okay you need to ensure that it's on the same line it is not lopsided so this means that we are on track with our counting we're going to start with our shoe cover now and we will need our white yarn for this part. I'm going to start from where the stitch marker is, okay? I'm going to start from that point, insert my hook. Okay, I'm going to pull my yarn through like so. And we are going to chain one, okay? So we're going to chain one. The next thing we're going to do is do what is called a double crochet decrease. And I'm going to be doing seven double crochet decrease, okay? So it means I'm going to be doing two double crochets in two stitches and then combine them as one at the end. So I'm going to show you how I do that. The first thing you're going to do is to yarn over, okay? After chaining one, insert my hook into the next stitch. So can you see what I'm doing? Pull my yarn through, okay? Then, then I pull through two loops, okay? I yarn over again. So can you see what I'm doing? I insert my hook into the next stitch, pull my yarn through, all right? I have four loops on my crochet hook. I yarn over, I pull through two loops, so did you see that? I yarn over, I pull through the three loops. So did you see what I did here? I'm going to repeat this again. So that is the first double crochet decrease that we have here. So it means you are combining two um, double crochet stitches in one. So I'm going to yarn over. For my, for my second double crochet decrease, I insert my hook into the next stitch, pull my yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, okay? I yarn over again, 
insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through I have four loops on my crochet hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through three loops okay so that is my second double crochet decrease the next thing I'm going to do is to do five more double crochet decrease for the front or for the toe top that we are crocheting okay so I yarn over insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through three loops so i've done um one two three four five six i need to do one more for the seventh one okay so i yarn over insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through okay yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through three loops okay so we are done with a seven double crochet decrease and the next thing i'm going to do is to do a single crochet stitch at the last stitch mark so which is this next stitch we have right here so i'm just going to remove that and then i'll do my single crochet stitch by inserting my hook into the next stitch okay pulling my yarn through yarning over and then pulling through the two loops okay so that is it for the first part now the next thing i'm going to do is to do um a row two for this toe top and what i'm going to do first is to chain one okay so i'm going to chain one and then what i'm going to do after chaining one is to do three single crochet decrease okay so in order to do a single crochet decrease this is what we're going to do i insert my hook into the stitch you skip the one closest to your chain one so i insert my hook into this stitch pull my yarn through insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through yarn over pull through the three loops so i'm going to do this two more times insert my hook pull my yarn through okay insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through i have three loops on my crochet hook i'm going to yarn over and pull through the three loops all right i'm going to do this one more time insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through i have three loops i yarn over and i pull through the three loops okay so once we are done with this what i'm going to do next is under the last stitch we're going to do a single crochet stitch okay so i'm just going to insert my hook under there pull my yarn through yarn over and pull through the two loops all right so this is what we have okay what I'm going to do next is to chain one. All right. Chain one. I'm going to do one single crochet decrease. Okay. So I insert my hook into the stitch, not the one right after the chain one, into the stitch. Pull my yarn through. Insert my hook into the next stitch. Pull my yarn through. Yarn over. Pull through the three loops like so. And after this now, I'm going to do a slip stitch under the last stitch. Okay, so this is the last stitch. I'm going to insert my hook into the last stitch, pull my yarn through like so, and then pull through this loop. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is to cut my yarn and pull the yarn like so okay so this is what we have for our toe top now what we're going to do next is to finish off the edge to make it you know smoother than it is by doing single crochet stitches across you know the edge of the toe top that you can see here 
where we did the chain one okay where we started our toe top what we're going to do is go under there insert a hook pull our yarn through okay I pull my yarn through like so we're going to be hiding this yarn as we go along okay I'm going to be hiding them so what I'm going to do first is chain one and then I'll be doing single crochet stitches as I go along so I've taught us how to do single crochet stitches all you need to do is insert your hook into the next stitch pull your yarn through that same stitch okay underneath it yarn over and pull through the two loops all right so i'm going to insert my hook into the next space pull my yarn through yarn over and pull through two loops okay so we're going to be doing about eight single crochet stitches okay to clean off this edge insert my hook into the next stitch i pull my yarn through yarn over and pull through two loops that's the third one then we're going to do the fourth insert my hook pull my yarn through okay yarn over pull through two loops that is what the fourth one so the fifth one is going to go into where we did the slip stitch at the um, third row okay where we did the where we had only one single crochet decrease done so i'm just going to go ahead and do the fifth one insert my hook pull my yarn through okay yarn over pull through the two loops so i insert my hook into the next stitch okay pull my yarn through yarn over and pull through two loops all right insert my hook into the next stitch pull my yarn through yarn over pull through two loops that is the seventh single crochet stitch it's excess so for the eighth one i insert my hook okay yarn over or pull the yarn through that stitch yarn over and pull through the two loops next thing i'm going to do now is to do a slip stitch right at this very end okay that you can see here so i just insert my hook pull my yarn through and then pull it through this loop okay and then we're going to cut off our yarn pull the yarn through all right so we are done with our toe cover or our toe top so can you see how it looks so this is what we have right here and once we are done with this the next thing we are going to do now is to work on our side and back um how do i explain this now we are going to work on the side and the back of the shoe okay this is the color that we'll be using okay so we are sort of like making the second leg of this um shoe right where we have um the stitch for the toe top okay we are going to do chain two right there so i've inserted my crochet hook what I'm going to do next is to pull my yarn through like so. Okay. I pull my yarn through. I should start from this side. I insert my hook. I insert my hook. I pull my yarn through. Okay. And then I'm going to chain two. So I chain one. And then I chain two. I chain the second one. So I'm going to be doing single crochet stitches in the next stitch till I get right at this end. So I'm going to be doing 32 single crochet stitches. So I'm just going to insert my hook under the stitch. All right. Pull my yarn through. Okay. And then pull through the two loops. Insert my um, hook into the next stitch. Pull my yarn through yarn over pull through two loops so i did chain two and two um, single crochet stitches so i'm just going to continue like that till i get right 
back to where I have this um, toe top. So I'll be doing 32 single crochet stitches. So what I'm going to do next is to chain one. Okay. I chain one. So it's basically the third um, stitch from the hook. I'm going to insert my hook right here. Okay. Do a single crochet stitch. That's the first one. I'm going to do 28 more single crochet stitches. Okay. So I've done a total number of 29 single crochets. After doing that 29, we're going to skip one stitch. And then where we did our first chain two, okay, we're going to, that's what we're going to do. Um, the top of that chain two is where we are going to do another um, single crochet stitch. Okay, so you skip one stitch and then do another single crochet stitch. It's going to give off this um, slanted look around the edge. That is why we are skipping each stitch as we go along each row. Okay, so I do the single crochet stitch right there. I chain one. So after chaining one, I insert my hook into the third stitch from the hook. So this is the first stitch, the second stitch, the third stitch. Do my single crochet. So we're going to be doing 27 single crochet stitches. Skip one and then do the 28 single crochet stitch. So I've done the first single crochet stitch here. I'm going to do 26 more single crochet stitches for row three. Okay. So we are working on row three right now. <laughs> so for row three, I've done uh, 27 single crochet stitches. I skip the next stitch, okay, and I do the 28 single crochet stitch. Okay. So after doing that, I'm going to chain one, turn my work, okay. I turn my work, I'm going to do I'm going to um, move to the third stitch from the hook. Here's the first stitch, here's the second stitch, and right here's, this, and right here's the third stitch, okay? So I insert my hook into the third stitch, do a single crochet stitch. All right, so you can see that this part is already, you know, slanting, and we're about to do row four. For row four now, we're going to do um, 24 more single crochet stitches in addition to this one that we have here which will make it 25 then after the 25 single crochet stitches we're going to skip a stitch and do a single crochet stitch in the last stitch okay so the total will end up being 26 single crochet stitches so i'll just go ahead and continue to do my single crochet in each stitch okay after doing the 25th stitch okay i'm going to skip one stitch which is right here. I'm going to skip this stitch. We're not going to do any single crochet in this stitch. What we're now going to do is to move to the end. And I'm going to do a single crochet stitch in the last stitch. And once I do that, I chain one. Okay. And now we are working on row five. Move to the third stitch from the hook. First stitch, second stitch, third stitch. I insert my hook. Okay do a single crochet. So for row five now, what we're going to do is 23 single crochet stitches. I skip one stitch and I do a single crochet in the last stitch. So total single crochet stitches for row five will be 24. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing my single crochet stitches. When I get to the end, I'll show you, you know, what we're going to do next. Okay. So after doing the 23 single crochet stitches for row five, I skip one stitch, which is right here, come right at the end and work my 24th single crochet stitch right there, okay? And after I do that, I chain one, I turn my work, and we are moving to row six. So what we're going to do is to move to the third stitch from the hook, first stitch, second stitch, third stitch. We're going to do 21 single crochet stitches. Okay, after this 21 single crochet stitches, we're going to skip one stitch and do the 22nd single crochet stitch in the last stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to do this and then when I get to the end, I will show you guys 
what we're going to do next. So I'm at the end of row six now. What we're going to do is to skip one stitch, okay? Move to the last stitch and do a 22nd single crochet stitch. We chain one, okay? Turn our work and we're going to be working on row seven. Okay, so the third stitch from the hook, I'm going to start doing single crochet stitches and I'll be doing single crochet stitches in the next 19 um, stitches, okay? So third chain from the hook, I insert my hook right there, one, two, three, start my single crochet stitch and we're going to be doing 19 single crochet stitches for row seven. Then we'll skip one stitch towards the end and do the 20th single crochet stitch in the last stitch, okay? Um, almost at the end of row seven now. And since this is the last um, row that we are making, instead of doing a single crochet stitch in the last stitch, as I mentioned earlier, what we are going to do is to do a slip stitch at the end, okay? So if you are making more rows, continue to do single crochet stitches at the last stitch. But if not, if you are ending, I would advise that you end with a slip stitch, okay? So what I'm going to do is to insert my hook into the last stitch, yarn over and pull the yarn through like this, okay? And then I'm going to pull through this loop, okay? And what we're going to do next is to cut our yarn and pull it through like so. So this is what the side and back of the shoe looks like. Okay. Now what we're going to do is to do an eighth row. But we're going to be starting from the side like so. Okay. We're going to be doing single crochet stitches along the side come up like so, and then move back down. Starting from where we did, where we began our side and back extension of this shoe, I'm going to insert my hook. Then I'm going to pull my yarn through like this. And we are going to chain one. Okay, so as I go along, what I'm going to be doing is to be hiding this yarn so i'm just going to be doing single crochet stitches along this line okay so i insert my hook pull my yarn through this is the first single crochet stitch insert my hook into the next one pull my yarn through the second single crochet stitch so here is the third single crochet stitch, the fourth single crochet stitch, the fifth single crochet stitch, and in the sixth single crochet stitch, I'm going to do three single crochet stitches in that same stitch. So here is the first one, okay? Here is the second one, and right here is the third one. All right, so the reason why I did three single crochet stitches right here is so that this curves out nicely onto the top. So after doing the, um, this um, third single crochet stitch, I move to the next stitch and do single crochet stitches all around till I get to the end but just before where I have my slip stitch done, okay? So I've done a total number of 19 single crochet stitches right at the top here, just after this um, stitch that has the three single crochet stitch. Now, we're going to do the 20th single crochet stitch under the slip stitch, okay? So I'm just going to come right under here under the slip stitch and do the 20th single crochet stitch. In that same slip stitch, I'm going to do two more single crochet stitches. All right, so I insert my hook. So I insert my hook, 
and I do the second single crochet stitch, insert my hook and do the third single crochet stitch, okay? And then what I'm going to do is to do six single crochet stitches along this line right here. So here is the first one. Right here is the second one. Here is the third. Okay, so I'm hiding the yarn from the slip stitch at this part as I go along. So here is the third. Right here is the fourth. Okay. The fifth single crochet stitch. And then the sixth one. So now that we have done the sixth one, what we are going to do is to do a slip stitch. Let me cut this yarn first. So we are going to do a slip stitch just right at the bottom here. Okay. So I insert my hook, pull my yarn through, and then pull it through this loop and cut my yarn. Okay. And after cutting, we are going to pull our yarn through. So what we're going to do next is to just go ahead and hide this yarn. So we're going to hide the yarn in this green part of our shoe. So in order to hide my yarn, I just insert it into the eye of the needle and then find a place to, to hide it. And now that we are done with this, we can go ahead and work on the design that we have right here. I needed to do this part first because it gives me a guide as to where to begin for this um, design that you can see here. So that is why we have this done first before going ahead to do um, this design. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we do it. It's basically, you know, like what we did for this part. We're just doing slip stitches. But of course, you need to know where we are doing the slip stitch. If you remember, we did um, have double crochet stitch for our sole extension at this point. Then we did single crochet stitch and we did um, single crochet stitch. Okay, making that a total of three layers. So we are going to be doing this design. Okay, we'll be doing this design just at the top of the half double crochet stitch or the part that is in between the half double crochet stitch at the bottom here and the single crochet stitch at the top here. Okay, so we are going to be starting from, so just eyeball it where this um, green stitch is. So just look for that point to match, okay? With the, where you're going to start from. So I'm going to be doing slip stitches at that point. So after pulling my yarn through, okay, I'm going to insert my hook into the next um, space. So after inserting my hook, I pull the yarn through that space and then pull it through the loop on my crochet hook. Okay. I'm going to repeat the same thing again. Insert my hook in the next space, making sure that I hide my yarn as I go along, pull the yarn through, and then pull it through the loop on my crochet hook. Okay, I'll repeat this again. Insert my hook in the next space, pull my yarn through like so, and then pull it through the loop on my crochet hook. I'm basically doing, repeating what I did for this part here. I'm repeating it. The only difference is that I am not doing it, you know, all around. Okay. I'm just doing it right in the space in between, you know, the half double crochet stitch and 
the single crochet stitch on top of it so i'm just going to continue to do the slip stitches all the way around till i get right back to this point where the, to this till i get right back to this point that will align to where you know i have this green um stitch here okay so i'll just go ahead and do that once i get to this end to this point right here i'm going to do it just one more time so i do it one more time and then i cut my yarn pull the yarn through like so okay and then i'm going to pull this yarn on the outside i'll bring it on the inside So this is what it looks like like this can you see i bring it on the inside and then i'm going to hide the yarn throughout the entire you know hide it where i have the black yarn on this side after we are done with this now the next thing we are going to work on is the shoe flap okay and the shoe flap is going to extend from the edge of the toe um toe top or toe cover what we're going to be doing is about 10 rows of single crochet stitches right on top of this stitch so it's just going to keep increasing increasing and increasing so the first thing we're going to do right on top of the first um single crochet stitch is to chain one so i pull my yarn through like so and then i chain one and i'm going to do single crochet stitches till i get to the end of that row so here is my first single crochet stitch i'm hiding this yarn as i go along here is my second single crochet stitch okay i'll go ahead and do the third one the fourth the fourth the fifth okay the sixth and then the seventh i have seven single crochet stitches right here plus my chain one what i'm going to do next is to chain one turn my work I'm going to do seven crochet stitches after this chain one. I skip the stitch closest to the chain one and I do seven, okay, seven crochet stitches, seven single crochet stitches. So I've done one, two, three, four. So here is the fifth one. Here is the sixth one and right under the chain one i'm going to do the seventh single crochet stitch okay and then i chain one again turn my work skip the stitch closest to the chain one and i do seven single crochet stitches so i'm just going to continue to repeat this till i get to the tenth row right now i'm on the third row so I'll be doing chain one, seven single crochet stitches on each row. I'm going to be doing this for 10 rows for our shoe flap. So I've come to the end of my 10th row right here. And what I'm going to do is to do a slip stitch. I insert my hook into the last stitch, pull my yarn through, pull through this loop. Okay. And then I'm going to cut my yarn and pull it through like so after finishing the shoe flap we're almost done with it shoe flap actually what we want to do next is to smoothen the edges is to make it you know sort of similar to what we did for the side and back extension so the next thing i'm going to do is to pull my yarn through the next stitch just beside where i started this one the stitch beside it okay so I'm going to pull my yarn through that point. And then I'm going to chain one. 
then I'll be doing single crochet stitches along the 10 rows while hiding this yarn as I go along. So where I have the first row, I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. I move to the second row, do a single crochet stitch. Move to the third row, do a single crochet stitch. The ninth, the tenth. Now at this tenth row, I'm going to do an additional two single crochet stitches. Okay, so one and two. So I have three right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and do single crochet stitches right at the top here. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and where I have the slip stitch, I'll do the seventh stitch, the seventh single crochet stitch, and I'll do an additional two single crochet stitches in that same space, in that same stitch. Okay. Then I turn to the other side, move to the next stitch. While hiding this yarn, I'll do single crochet stitches all the way down. Okay. So I did 10 single crochet stitches right here and I'm just going to come right at this last part, okay, where we have the white yarn showing. I'm going to do a slip stitch right there to seal this off. So I insert my yarn, pull my yarn through like so, okay, and then I pull it through the same loop. I cut my yarn, pull it like so, okay? And then I'm going to hide the rest of this yarn in here. Once we are done with the shoe flap, which is this part that we just finished, the next one we're going to work on is the shoelace. The shoelace is pretty easy. All you need to do is to chain about 120. Okay, so I just place my yarn on my crochet hook like this. As usual, this is how I start. And then here is me chaining 120. So one, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Till you get to 120. I've done the 120 chains. And what I'm going to do is to cut my yarn. Okay, pull the yarn through like so, and we are going to lace up our shoe. So this is how it looks laced up. We are practically done with the main shoe. So if you want to go ahead and do the all-star design, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to go ahead and leave your converse shoes like this, you know, you are already done. All you need to do is to just tie around the spots, do like a, a small knot, cut off the excess yarn, repeat the same thing for this side as well, and then you can tie your shoe, okay? So this is what we want to do next this um, design that you can see here. So this is what I'm going to do. I have like a long piece of yarn at the tail end here. I wrap my yarn around the needle like so, as if I'm trying to do a couple of chains. And then I'm just going to open this up so I can have like a huge circle. Make sure to hold this end. And the next thing I'm going to do is to 
pull my yarn through and then do a chain one okay so once i do that i'm just going to unravel i'm just going to pull this tail end of my yarn okay so did you see that i just pulled it through and then i'll be doing six single crochet in this circle okay so here is my first single crochet the second one the third one the fourth fifth and sixth so once i'm done with the sixth one now i'm going to pull my yarn this long one here i pull it so that i can close the circle okay so i pull the yarn so i can close that circle make it tighter and then what i'm going to do next is to do a slip stitch to properly close off our circle okay so i'm going to come right here and do my slip stitch so here is my slip stitch after doing the slip stitch i chain one in the stitch closest to my chain one i do two single crochet okay and the second stitch i'm going to do two single crochet so i'll be doing two single crochet stitches in the in six stitches so here's the first one here the second one i'm doing the third one now so once i do the sixth one now i'm going to slip stitch right at the top of this stitch okay right at the top here do a slip stitch to close off the circle so this is what we have if you decide that you want something smaller you can go ahead and you know you can go with this okay so this one is just slightly smaller than what we have here so we're going to go one more round and for this um, last round i chain one so after chaining one i'll be doing single crochet stitches in the next 13 stitches okay so i'll go ahead and start with the first one okay two three twelve thirteen so once i do the 13th one i come right at the top of this stitch i do a slip stitch okay i pull my yarn through and then i pull it through this loop right here okay so once i pull it through like that go ahead and cut my yarn pull this out okay now i'm going to hide the yarn to meet this one in the middle here all right so we can create a knot so i just pull the yarn through like that okay so once i have it in the middle like so i'll go ahead and tie a knot in order to figure out you know how we are going to do the star design we are going to need um stitch markers and we're going to position them in five different positions okay you try to make sure that the distance between each one is as you know close to equal as possible so i'll be placing the stitch marker just you know underneath this last round of stitch so if i place the first one here i place the second one around here okay then I place the third one here let's see we can actually rearrange this later okay i place the fourth one here and i place the fifth one here okay so let me move this a bit okay so 
this is how equal I can get with this. We're going to get our black yarn now, okay? We're going to get our black yarn and our tapestry needle. It's actually easier for me to use a needle than a crochet hook. So I thread my needle like so. And right here is the front where we will have the start design. This is going to be the back where we are going to see, you know, rough patches. Okay. So we're going to start from the back and we're going to be starting from where we have the first stitch marker. Okay. So I insert my needle come right opposite it so i remove this second stitch marker insert my needle so we want to go through all the five places where we have the stitch markers now i'll come right you know somewhere some this part that is opposite it the blue stitch marker i remove it okay i insert my needle from the back okay then i come right here where I have the purple stitch marker, insert my needle. So you can see we're sort of like going opposite each one. Then I come to where I have the yellow stitch marker. Okay. I insert my needle. So now that I've come out through the fifth one, I'll just keep going opposite it like so so that I can fill up the space opposite each other so all you need to do is just keep taking your needle and thread opposite them so can you see it's filling up quite nicely So can you see? So once you are satisfied with what you have, I'm okay with this now. What I'm going to do is to create a knot at the back and tie this. And after knotting, what's left to do is to attach it to the shoe. Just figure out where you want to attach it. So I've cut out a piece of yarn. I'm going to yarn my needle. <laughs> I'm going to yarn my needle. And I'll be starting from the inside. Okay, so just around the edge. So once I get close to where I started, I'm just going to do a knot around this part just to properly secure it, okay? And I'll just come out right here and do some yarn hiding so that the tail end of the of this um, yarn doesn't show by the time I cut it off, okay? So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, kindly give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more crochet tutorials. Turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos and I'll be seeing you in my next tutorial.
Bye.